Hello there and a very good morning to you all from England. Is everybody doing well out there? <laughs> oh, I am so glad to hear it. And me? Oh yes, still doing great. And especially on a day like today, which is a bit wintry, but it isn't raining, there's no snow, there's no frost. A little overcast cloud, but it's a good day to take a flight. So, would you like to take a flight with me today? Okay, so, and where are we going to go, you ask? Good question. Well, John McLaughlin wrote to me a couple of months ago and he said, Hello. Me, my brother and dad love your videos and we watch them every week. Thank you for that. My brother Christopher is a big aviation fan and has been playing Flight Simulator for many years. Next month he will be leaving for Gothenburg where he will be staying for a year as part of his university degree. Wow! So John said, my request to you is if you would be able to do an escape flight from Glasgow to Gothenburg in tribute to him. This would make Christopher's day, he said. Well, of course I can. I would be delighted to make that flight. And that is the flight that we're going to make today. Now, I did check. There are no direct flights between Glasgow and Gothenburg, so we will make our own route. And I did also check the distance. It is about 643 statute miles or 595 nautical miles. I also ma managed to find some very good scenery for Glasgow. It's EGPF and it's made by UK Scenery, UK 2000 Scenery. I couldn't find any good commercial scenery for Gothenburg, however, but I did find some freeware scenery. So the ESGG Gothenburg Landvetter Scenery is freeware that I'm going to use today. So Christopher, put your books to the side. Don't have to do any swatting for this. Today is your day and your flight. And guess what? You are going to be flying with me in the cockpit of the only airline that serves complimentary champagne and caviar. And which airline is that, you ask? Well, it's Ryanair 186, of course. <laughs> So let's go on into the pre-flight and check out the weather and make a flight plan. Are you ready? Let's go then. Well, here we are at windy.com and I'm looking at the airport EGPF, which is Glasgow. I'm just going to pull out here and let you see what the area weather is like today. Wow! Look at this. This is a big, big low pressure area that's moving in across the Atlantic and it's about to hit the west coast of Ireland and then in a probably another day it's going to hit Glasgow. And up here there are some pretty strong weather patterns sweeping down from the North Pole 
hitting that coast of Norway and then sweeping inland. So looking at Glasgow, there's the direction of the weather and the winds are blowing according to this from 180 degrees at six knots. Visibility in Glasgow is just like it is here in South Yorkshire. It is 10 kilometers or more, no clouds. Temperature is 11 degrees, dew point seven, Q&H 1019. Now, which runway are we going to be using? I'm not sure about this. Look at this. Here's the runway 05 to 23. And which one it's going to be is anybody's guess. So we'll have to just wait to see what ATC assigns us. Because either way, it's likely to be a crosswind landing. If I were to make a bet, I would probably suggest it may be 05, I don't know, or perhaps 23. Again, anybody's guess. Over here in Gothenburg, here you can see the wind is blowing in over from the sea directly inland but it is 240 degrees, 13 knots, and visibility is 10 kilometers or more. Clouds broken at 900 feet. Temperature 8 degrees, Q&H 1014. But look at this. It is listed as IFR. So apparently the clouds are quite low. And that is probably one of the reasons for the IFR conditions. Here's the runway. The elevation of this runway is 506 feet. But it is a long runway, so there's no real problem. Direction is 03 and 21. Hmm. Not sure which one we'll be using to come in, but we will find out. But let's go ahead and make our flight plan because that may give us a good idea. So here we are in Simbrief. We are Ryanair. We are 186. We are departing from EGPF. And we're going to go to ESGG. And it's given us EKCH as our alternate. There's our aircraft type. There's the registration. Schedule flight time is 1 hour 55. It's suggesting here departure will be on runway 23 and arrival on runway 21. Okay, we can handle that. Full passengers, one ton of cargo, and you know what kind of cargo that is. And then down here is our flight route. It says the route distance is 622 nautical miles. Let's have a look at that. So there it is going across the North Sea, across the top end of Denmark, and there into Sweden, and with a Copenhagen as the alternate. All right, let's save that and see what kind of altitude we get. So generating the flight, yes. And here we are. There it is. And we're going to be at flight level 350. Airtime is 1 hour 28 minutes, block fuel 7230. And there's the routing. The TLA5 Alpha, that is the departure SID, 
and the Maca for Sierra, that's the arrival star. Looking down here now into the flight plan details. There you can see the flight level. There's the flight route. We're going to need the average wind speed and direction. We're going to need to know what the block fuel is and we'll need to know the reserves, the trip and the taxi. And then down here, we'll need to know flight level 200, 150, and 10,000 feet. Let's have a look at the bottom where they've got the plates for the route and the weather. Interesting here. At uh, this one, there's a at flight level 290, there is a big front moving in. But it looks like we're going to be quite clear going all the way through. Here are the winds. Oh, we're in luck. We're going to be getting tailwinds all the way into Gothenburg. Oh, that's a good one. Here we are at 340, closer to us. Not bad at all. And there's our flight profile taking off from Glasgow, top of climb, and then straight down to Gothenburg here. With tailwinds. Oh, I like tailwinds. That's a good idea. Right, now we'll go into Navigraph charts and build our plans in there. Well, here we are. This is the area and we're looking at the general vicinity of our route going from Glasgow here over to Gothenburg here. So click on flights, go new flights from Simbrief and use that one. Click on the Glasgow, open the list. We're going to need the airport info, so we'll click that so it appears at the bottom. We're going to need to know the parking stands and coordinates, so we'll put that in as well. We're on the TLA5 Alpha departure, so I'm going to show that chart overlay and there's the there's the route. So we'll be flying on this one. Now here is a little pin. So I'm going to click on that and that adds that SID to the bottom. Now over here all the way to Gothenburg, I'm going to open that. I'm going to go into Airport Info and put that on there. And the Taxi After Landing Parking Stands, I'm going to put that on there too because there are some routes that we are limited to. And here's the route coming in. This is the Maca for Sierra. So I'm going to again add that to the list at the bottom and we'll be coming in on runway 21. So let's have a look at the approaches here. So we've got category 3 ILS runway 21. That's the one that we'll put in. Let's have a look at that. And there it is. There's, there's the route and then it'll take us all the way into the runway. So, ILS runway to one. Tick. And then that dotted line becomes a solid line. Okay. We now have our route and we're ready to 
go into the cockpit we'll need to put in our fuel and get ourselves ready there you are Christopher do come in don't forget you do not need your books from the university today today is just for fun so take your seat buckle up and let's get ourselves organized here now we are parked at stand 40 at Glasgow Airport this is the area of what they call the international area rather than the domestic since we are flying over to Sweden we are now in the international section so we here at stand 40 and we will find out in a little bit what runway is going to be the active runway we're not quite sure yet but we'll find out I have the fuel on board we have 7230 kilograms of fuel that would keep you in your car running for quite a bit wouldn't it hmm okay no matter right and here's what we do turn on the battery turn on the fuel pumps and start the APU that's the first thing that we need to get done I'm just going to check the fuel yes 7230 we are fine on that the engine gas temperature is rising very nicely it'll peak there it has it's peaked and now it's starting to fall back and then it'll stabilize when this blue light comes on I'm going to push these two switches down to switch the bus from the battery to the APU generator and coming up in just ah there it is good we are now running on a hundred and fifteen volts coming from the APU and there's one flight taking off okay up here I can see that we have a hundred and fifteen volts showing so I'm going to turn on the IRS turn on the galley make sure that we can get a nice cup of tea emergency exit lights no smoking fasten seat belts the forward service hatch is open and the equipment that is the air stairs they are already down there's the left and the right window heat there's the probe and there's the two hydraulic pumps now I'm going to turn on the APU bleed and this is the point where you get to hear that rush of air that comes through the nozzles over your seat so there we go that that and listen there it is that's the compressed air coming from the APU blowing that warm air into the cabin and then I'm going to turn this on to steady so that the ground crew know that we are in the cockpit and that we are getting ourselves ready to to fly okay things look pretty good up there now down here I'm going to put in my position and we are at EGPF EG and PF we're at gate 40 I'm not sure if it's in the database but let's put it in ah it does show well let's just check that shall we according to this stand 40 should be 55 51 9 and 4 26 5 4 26 5 that is correct so we'll put that into the temporary and 
load that in. Now we'll go into the root. We are at EGPF, EGPF, and we are going to go to ESGG, ESGG. We are, our flight number is Ryanair 186, so that's RYR 186. Then I go to next page, and this is where we start to put in our flight plan itself. So we go first of all direct to TLA, so TLA, and it's the top one, and then we go direct to SAB, S-A-B, so S-A-B, top one again, then we take the Lima 983, Lima 983, and we go to Kutel, C-U-T-E-L. So C U and T E L. Then we take the Tango 55. So T55. And then we go to Tinac. So T I N A C. Then we take the Tango 138. to go to AAL. Then we take the November 607 and go to Makur, M-A-K-U-R. And that is our route. So we'll activate that, execute. Now we'll go to the fix. The fix that we want, of course, is ESGG. And we want a four mile radius. We want a 10 mile radius. And we want a 30 mile radius. Go to descent, go to forecast. We'll leave the transition level as it is at 6,000 feet because that is variable and is and assigned by ATC. But we will need to put in the values for flight level 200 and 150 and 100. The Q and H at our destination is 1013. At 200, it is 283 at 66. 28366. At 150, it is 275 at 52. 275 at 52. And at 10,000 feet, it is 272 at 44. 272 at 44 and execute that now for departures we're not sure yet so we are going to need to tune in to the ATIS to see what we have Glasgow Airport Information Quebec 1242 two. Zulu Wind 142 at 7 Visibility greater than 20 miles Sky condition No clouds below 20,000 Temperature 112.6 Altimeter 1018 Landing and departing Runway 23 VFR aircraft say direction of flight All aircraft read back hold short instructions Advise controller on initial contact you have Quebec Right, we have Information Quebec and it's going to be departing on runway 23 which is pretty much the one that we were expecting to leave from. 
that's what our flight plan called for. So we will put that in, 2-3, and since we are following that, we will be on the TLA-5 Alpha departure. So TLA-5 Alpha departure and put that in. Our arrival, we are still proposed to come in on runway 21, so we'll put in ILS 21 and we'll put in the uh, Maca for Sierra arrival. There's the Maca for Sierra arrival. So we have the flight plan loaded. So now we'll go to legs and I'll switch this to the plan and we'll go through this and just check the steps making sure there is no discontinuity. Everything is looking good so far. There it is coming straight down on the runway. Perfect. We have a flight plan. Great, so I'm going to put in the weather for that, terrain for that, and we'll put in the information to make sure that we can get the TCAS on. Good. Now I'm going to turn on the yaw damper and see that the flight continuity goes off. It does. The next thing I need to do is I need to put in the decision height for our arrival. Now, we will be using the radio to come in on and it will be 50 feet. So now I have radio 50 feet set right there for our decision height for when we arrive. Okay, now Everything is looking good. So now I'm going to go into the route and perform the initialization. Now our fuel plan, we have a reserves of 2531 plus the trip and taxi which is 4051. That comes to 6582 which when rounded out is 6.6. .6. So 6.6 .6 goes right there. The reserves, as I've just said, is 2531, so that's 2.5. Then all I do is double click on this and the onboard computer calculates the zero fuel weight and everything else. We are cost index 6. We are going to be flying at 350. The cruise wind is 27051 and 51. Transition altitude at our destination is 5000 feet, so we'll put that in. Execute. 11 degrees is what we have here today. We'll be using flaps 10. Double click this and it calculates the center of gravity and the trim. The trim of course is the wheel next to the controls. And clicking on those it gives us the information that we need. Now we need to put in the information from that into the overhead here. We need to add this and go to 35,000. Because that's going to be our cruising altitude today. Our destination, the airport elevation is 500 feet, so I've got to put in 500 feet. So when the doors are open, people's ears don't pop. Then I'm going to need to put in the information here as well for the cruising altitude. Normally this is done by the ATC, they tell us what to do with this, but we're just presuming this at the moment. 
35,000. We're departing on runway 23, so that will mean 229er will be our course. So we'll turn this back to 229er. And 229er on this. And over here as well. Then I'm going to put in the 146 for the Mach. This is the V2 rotation speed. Now I've got that information in. Put in that. Switch that up. And then push these two. And we have green lights on both which says the flight plan is a good one. So I'm going to arm the throttle. The localizer at our destination is 108.5 and I'm going to arm the VOR1 on both of those. Good, everybody's on, so I'm going to bring up the stairs and close the doors. Need to make sure everybody's comfortable. You can hear the stairs there. Now I'm going to contact the tower and ask for a departure to the east. Glasgow ground, Ryanair 186 with Romeo, request taxi for takeoff departure to the east. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 23 by taxiway November, Golf, Echo, Zulu, Yankee, Charlie, Alpha, contact tower on 118.8 when ready. Taxi to and hold short runway 23 via taxiway November Golf Echo Zulu Yankee Charlie Alpha Ryanair 186. Well, we have a long way to taxi. We're down closer to the end of the runway over here. So we are going to need to have our nose pointed in that direction, our tail to the left. And then we will be going out and going up to get to the end of the runway. So, we'll now go into menu and go into pushback. We want standard left. We want to turn the nose to the right. Select the tug and we are set to go. Let's make a check. Everything is okay. Glasgow, ground, orbit 1680. Request taxi to the gate. Orbit 1680, taxi to gate 11, using taxiway Charlie Alpha Golf Lima. Taxiing to gate 11 via taxiway Charlie Alpha Golf Lima, orbit 1680. Right, I've got my charts ready, so you'll be able to follow us as we do our pushback, start, and our taxi. So, are you ready? All right, good Christopher, I'm glad to hear it. Everything is good up there, so adjust the seats. What engine shall we start first today? One or two? Oh, you would like one? Well, we'll start engine number one then. Right, I'll switch that to RTO so it's set. Now I'm going to ask, I'm going to- Go to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Ready to push, tail to the left, parking brake's off. Parking brake is off. I'm now going to switch the air conditioning Brakes off. Released. And as soon as we start to move, I'm now going to put the anti-collision light on to let people know that we are now going to be mobile. Brakes released, here we go. Right, I'm now switching the engine number one to on. I've got the generator number one here indicated. The engines are spinning. We're doing very well on that. It's coming up. And as soon as it gets to 24, we'll enter, there we are. Bring in the fuel to 24. The start valve has opened. We're now watching the engine gas temperature rise. The low oil pressure light will go out in just a moment. That will tell it it has. Good. 
Ah, and here you can see we are making our nose turn to the right. There, you can hear the engines now. Right, I'm now switching to engine number two. We have 115 volts on number one. Start valve has opened. Engines are spinning up. Push back complete. Park brake, please. Parking brake is on. And brake coming set. up. 24, we are ready. Now we're putting in the fuel for the second engine, we're going to look for 115 volts up here. Alright, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Thank you. Good, the low oil pressure light has gone off. We're looking good on that. Ah, there, the second engine has just started to kick in. And we're looking for 115 volts up on here. We have juice. Good. Switch that off. Now I'm going to switch to the main engines. That's the generators in each of their engines and I'm switching to that. I'm going to switch the air conditioning back on, switch the APU bleed off, and switch the APU off here. Next, I'm going to turn on the runway lights and alert the crew that we are now going to start our taxi. I'm going to go to flaps 10, check around, make sure all the ground equipment is, is clear, and generators are on, probe heat is on, anti-ice not required, isolation valve check, engine start lever is idle, tent, and verify the takeoff speed, 1, 2, and 3. Now going to be 147 on that. And recall is check. Flight controls are check. Flaps. We have green lights. Um, auto brake is RTO, correct. Speed brake lever down in the tent. Ground equipment is all clear. We are now ready to taxi. So Take a good look around, make sure that nobody is in our way. Brakes are off, and we'll give a little bit of boost to get ourselves unstuck here. And then we're going to go around this direction in order to get onto the main taxiway. get to the end of the runway 23. And here we go. We swing to the right here. This is the first part of the taxiway. This is very, very detailed scenery. This is made by UK 2000. The scenery. Look at the detail. Look at the, how wonderful a detail this is really is. It's really superb. Now I have to keep my speed below 10 miles an hour because we're still on the apron and the tower is very keen here. If you speed on their, their tarmac, they get very upset. There's British Airways, there's a couple of them there. There's another Ryanair over there. That would be parked there in order to load for domestic flights. But we, we are international. Oh, by the way, you did bring your passport with you, yes? Oh, good. And you've got your COVID passport as well for the European Union. Oh, they're very, very very in, impressed by that. Ha. Oh dear. And there's another Ryanair at the domestic point at stand 5. This is really
really delightful scenery. I mean, look at the detail. There's Glasgow in the back. Now, as a little technical thing, the last flight that I did, I had the B3D settings are this. I had enhanced atmospherics on and I had the HDR lighting on. And this time I've just got advanced atmospherics on but HDR lighting is off. And this is to see whether there is going to be quite a difference between the two. Some people like it on and others like it off. So that's the settings I've got for today. Oh my goodness, look at all the detail. There's grass growing here. There's the fire engines. There's a C-130 over there. I've flown in those a lot of times. I've never actually controlled the aircraft though, I've not been on the controls of that. But I've flown in that, one, uh, well, in C-130s a lot of times, and I've jumped out of them a lot of times as well. And there's the helicopters, that's Gamma Aviation. Now we're coming up onto Taxiway Alpha and we can speed up just a little bit here we're past the apron the whole short lines so time to turn tune to the tower and make our turn we'll be at the whole short line in just a moment and then we can contact the tower for clearance to take off. Alright, hold short. Glasgow Tower, Ryanair 186, Lydia, runway 23 East, departure. Ryanair 186, clear for takeoff, runway 23 East, departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 23, Ryanair 186. Alright, we are cleared for takeoff. So I'm turning on all the lights, engines continuous. I'm putting the position light now onto strobe and we'll move into position. Got to check visually to make sure that there is nothing coming. Everything look good your side? Okay, good. Everything's good on my side, so we'll turn and get ourselves lined up on the center line here. Alright, put the brakes on for the moment. Okay, before takeoff, takeoff briefing is complete. 
engine bleeds are on check, start switch is continuous, and cabin is secure, and the clock is running, everything looks good, attendance secure, advance the fuel and the power to N1, jogger buttons pushed, full, and here we go, we're rolling. There's that crosswind. I can feel the crosswind. V1, rotate. V1, rotate. V2.
take us all the way up to our cruising altitude sooner than what they would like. I know we're going to make a little bit more noise to the people on the ground, but this is a champagne flight. Alright, we can switch off the lights. Seatbelt sign is off. I went 
went out on the wings to pick up my wash. I had them out there on the on the line along the wings to dry. But I got it all in just about 20-30 minutes ago because we may have a little bit of rain when we land and I want to make sure my wash is dry. Oh, and by the way, did I tell you that we have still got the trophy for the best in-flight entertainment of any airline? <laughs> oh well, I thought I'd mention that. <laughs> Right, let's get ourselves ready then to land. Yeah. It's 
Now switch is continuous altimeter set, QNH right. Nav aids are set. Cabin is secure, speed brake lever is armed. Landing gear, well, we're not ready for landing gear yet. Now, one of the nice things about this airport is the sound effects. By that I mean that they have two markers that we will intercept on our way in. There's an outer marker and there is a middle marker. When we hear those, we know that we are on the right track. Well, it's starting to close in a little bit on the weather outside. We're going to go through some clouds in our approach, but with a bit of luck, we should be all right. All the lights are on, navigation lights are on, strobes are on. Okay, and crew, get yourselves ready for landing. Now we're making our base turn. on track. When we get down to our final approach altitude, then I'll be making a adjustment on the altitude here to 3,000 feet in case of a missed approach. And coming up now on to final. somewhere but it's hidden by cloud we're a little high yet so we will have to descend to get that Everything is good 
and crew secure for landing. And gear is down. There's the outer marker. Well, we're getting a little bit of buffeting here. <laughs> Let's see if I can bring this baby in. on Charlie. ourselves a night landing on that one. Alright, clean up is complete. We'll start the APU in preparation. be looking for kilo on the right hand side and then that's the way I'll pull in on kilo. And 
and it looked like it was a crosswind landing. This one's Lima, so it's the next one I think will be Kilo. turn here and then we'll go over there and find ourselves a place to park. is off. Okay. Everything is shutting down very nicely. Okay. Off. TCAS is off. Right. In that case then, we are ready to turn off the fuel and Shutdown is complete. Well, Christopher, we made it. And this was a direct flight. I don't know what route you took when you came here to start your university a couple of months ago, but we did it direct. We flew in right over Alborg, came in and made a very nice landing. I didn't break any of the crockery and nobody that was sleeping was woken up. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the flight. I hope you enjoy your time at university. This should have been a nice little break for you. A little flight of fancy if you like. Get you away from the books and do something different. It helps the mind. It really does. Right. In that case, I'm all set to go and have a cup of tea. How about you? Sound good? In that case, everybody, I will see you on the next flight 
of Ryanair 186. Bye.